Today I'm going to share with you a Washington State housing market forecast for 2021. This is specifically for the Central Puget Sound region or King County, Washington. This is from Lennox Scott, the CEO and chairman of John L. Scott Real Estate. The year 2020 brought many changes in how we live and has made many people reflect on what their home really means to them. In the Puget Sound area, we are in a seller's market. The sales activity intensity for each new listing going under contract is at a frenzy level and higher for most price ranges and areas. So let's recap what happened in 2020. In the first quarter, there was a frenzy and extreme frenzy level of sales activity in many areas locally. In March and April, COVID-19 led us to adjust our business practices to support social distancing for buyers, sellers, and agents. Additionally, home mortgage interest rates lowered. In May, the number of buyers increased to pre-COVID seasonal levels, but sellers lagged, creating a virtually sold out situation. In June, many lifestyle destinations surrounding markets became virtually sold out as buyers were able to work from home and they went to more of the outskirt areas. In mid-June, the number of sellers increased to pre-COVID seasonal levels. July through November, a substantial increase in the number of new resale listings in Seattle and on the east side brought record buyer activity in many markets, with the luxury market also at record transaction numbers. In November, we had temporary restrictions. The ban on open houses was reactivated, but once again, the real estate market remained in full motion through private showings. All of this led to market conditions of multiple offers for each new listing in most price ranges. Some additional major events in 2020 was the inflection point in society to further support diversity, equity, and inclusion. Natural disasters with wildfires and smoke affecting the Western states. So let's look at a 2021 forecast. After the 2020 holiday season, a surge of buyers usually comes into the market around the 1st of January. However, there will be few new listings until March of 2021. We anticipate housing market sales activity intensity to continue at extreme frenzy level velocity, where about 90% of sales activity takes place through April 2021. Then sales activity intensity will probably go down one level of hotness to frenzy or surge over the summer as more listings come on the market for potential purchasers. Only the city of Seattle has an adequate supply of new resale listings and unsold inventory, resulting in strong market conditions with surge level sales activity intensity. In other areas, we will remain virtually sold out through 2021 in the more affordable mid-range ranges. The luxury market will remain strong due to the wealth effect in the economy. The strong price appreciation we saw in 2020 will continue in 2021 as the biggest price boost will occur within the first four months of the year. So what does all this mean? If you are a buyer, it is crucial to be buyer ready on day one. Your broker associate consult with you to share strategies to win in multiple offer situations, how to get pre-approved or fully underwritten through a lender, and receive instant email and text notifications of newly listed properties. If you are a seller, although it is a seller's market, being market ready day one as a homeowner elevates the interest of the backlog of buyers who will put an offer on your property. Our seller listing launch system combines the best in marketing and pricing strategy to help sellers obtain the best price. There are some possible headwinds in 2021. In 2021, possible headwinds include decreased affordability due to price increases, a slight interest rate increase when the economy improves, and the potential for higher taxes on the state and federal level. While we are very thankful for the housing recovery we have seen in 2020, we know this has been a difficult year for many, including those who have lost a loved one due to COVID-19. Our hearts go out in support of those infected with COVID-19, as well as everyone impacted by job losses or the wildfires in Western states. We hope 2021 brings healing and peace, as well as an enhanced focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.